There are few things I hate about the city of San Antonio. One is the traffic. The traffic here sucks. I mean, if you're in your office at 12 o'clock, 2.30, just at 12 o'clock to 6, and you decide to get in your car and go somewhere, there's a good chance you're going to regret it because people here in the city don't know when to just drive, mind their business. They want to see whose car flipped over. Is everything okay? Or they're eating the tacos, whatever. Well, that's what I got to do with here in the city. But another thing I hate is the food. Yeah, the Mexican frisier is not that awesome. And there's no diversity. Like maybe I haven't had, I have one place, it's actually called Asador. They have good Mexican food. But there's not a diversity. Like I used to live in Houston. Houston has, uh, you know, all kinds of food, all kinds of, you know, culture from different country. Like you might see uh, a Ghanaian food, uh, somebody from Libya, which I've never had Libyan food until I, w I was in Houston, uh, had a Cameroonian food. There's just, you know, awesome culture. You want to experience that. San Antonio does not have a lot of that. We just literally started getting Mexican, uh, not Mexican, <laughs> sorry. Um, we just really started getting, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, Jamaican food here, which is I'm like, oh, there's a couple of Jamaican places popping up, then African restaurants popping up. I'm like, okay, but there's still more than that. You know, you want to see, all, you know, different places. So today we're going to try a food from a country, a Laos. Laos is in Southeast Asia, population 7 million people. I don't know why I'm whispering, but yeah, they have 7 million people there. The People Republic of Laos. That's what you call it, but it's called Laos also. So the guy messaged me and he said, hey, come try out my food. Uh, it's uh, Lao cuisine and you'll like it. We used to be a food truck, now we have a stand, you know, a location. So I get there and it's very nice. Uh, the owner is very awesome. His son is the cook, his daughter runs the front and his wife and son, I guess they are the, both the cook. I mean, his wife was cooking, but he said his son is the cook. So. I call the son the real crawfish king because he's the one doing all the work in the back. So the food is awesome. Uh, I enjoy the food. I enjoy the small interview. As you know, this channel is about me going out there and meeting small business owner and traveling. Like I want to go to different countries, different places and talk to people. I don't just want to go show you what the food is or how good or bad it is. I want to show you more than that, the, their story, because I'm a, I'm a small business owner, and a lot of people don't know this, most of my friends do. <clears throat> I used to be homeless before I opened my store, like, it, it, it happened like this, to go from really bad, bad, <clears throat> to good. <clears throat> so that's why I like to talk to other people, don't just eat their food, learn something from them, learn about them, it makes it even better. So here's a little about Crawfish King enjoy as much as i did um <clears throat> one last thing according to youtube uh i've been getting a lot of people watching my video okay i'm trying to find this thing because it makes me happy <laughs> um as you know my asthma is bad right now as you know i have two channels one channel is for food only which is achilles loves food the second one is travel and food which achilles food and travels it looks like all my uh <clears throat> people watching my channel are from turkey i don't know what's going on in turkey but i really 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 appreciate that i'm trying to pull up the analytics here because it's it's awesome to me is 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 i appreciate it i mean I, I haven't done anything for that audience but it says uh 24 all my viewers are from Turkey, 24 from the United States, followed by India, which is 15%. I don't know the people in India. Thank you also. I, mean, I appreciate everybody. But don't just watch my videos, okay? Subscribe to it. What you do when you subscribe to my channel is you're telling me you love my content, which makes me want to go out there and show you more places you probably want to go later. So subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. And leave me a feedback. Even if you don't like something about my video, tell me. Because 
as a beginner in this, I need to know what's good, what's not good, what's the mistakes. I don't want to just pick up my camera and record stuff, edit it, and then put it out there. I want people to tell me what, what you know, what they think. So in the long run, I can get better as a content creator. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this as, as fun right now, but I might as well consider business because I'm spending a lot of money on this thing. People don't understand this. When I go eat at places, this is my money I spent to eat. Nobody's giving me free food. When I take flights, nothing is free. Nothing. Okay, this is out of pocket. So, I appreciate the views. Subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. It will help me a lot. So, without further ado, let's try Crawfish King. All right, so I uh, got my food. Uh, this is the seafood bro. It looks pretty good because I was in there watching them do it. This is the sauce that goes with the fish. I will get the name. And this is the fish. That's actually the reason I came. So I was on their website uh, on Google and they had a picture of the fish. And a lot of time when you see a restaurant, uh, you see pictures on the, uh, Google, you're wondering if it's gonna be the same name. Most of the restaurant, when you go there, is never like you see in this picture. This fish is exactly what I was expecting. So I'm excited. This is the beef jerky. I'm not a big fan of beef jerky, but this looks so good that I'm not going to be, you know, negative. I'll try it. The most interesting part of the meal, well, second most interesting is the sticky rice. So as you see in my other video, I told myself this year that I would not be eating any rice. Uh, the goal was not to have rice for 30 days. Just like your diet, it didn't work out. Uh, and this is the it's a soup it's uh i have to ask again but it's a noodle soup curry noodle soup so that's what it was look at that cute decoration in there i'm gonna eat this let's start with the jerky because oh it's crunchy it's crunchy get a little eh? the sun is hitting my eye real bad but don't worry about that. Ooh. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. Definitely love it. Look, look at that. Look at that. So, it looks crispy, right? But, it's, it doesn't taste crispy because I was expecting it to be like crunchy real bad. No, this is perfect. It, it, it's really good. I like it. So it has a a taste to it, like a Korean flavor cooked taste, to it, but it's not. It's um. It's a little bit of tangy in there but it's perfect now this is the seafood bro i'm not a big fan of seafood depends where i go honestly but you can come to crawfish king and not try it mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so look at this this is big, real big. Here's the thing I like in this one. I guarantee you they make some kind of sauce in the back themselves, which I saw that sauce, I saw that sauce. And it's his own special name because I've never <laughs> had something this good. Like it, it just has flavor, it has flavor. Not to ask the owner now, Kind of flavor is this because it has that seafood taste but so leave it to me to eat seafood which i'm not good at mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i do not like spicy food right i don't like spicy food but this is spicy perfect spicy like it is, it's right there on the mark. Spicy is, if you're a person who don't like spicy food, and then someone tells you, 
it's not that spicy. You don't trust them because you don't like spicy. That's what he told me. He said, it's not that spicy. I said, okay, this is not that spicy. It, it is perfect. Mm, that's good. Um, Don't judge me, okay? I don't know how to eat crawfish. Don't tell nobody that. That's me yeah, because I never liked it. But I don't. And this is, I'm struggling to eat that. That is delicious. Now crab, there's a crab in here. What is it? There's a crab here. I used to love crab when I was a kid. Um, so it's a fun story. When I was a kid, I lived, uh, hey, I lived in a country called Benin. And I hate going to church. And my dad's way of getting me to go to church with him was to promise me crap. So we, after church, they, they give us a string, some kind of weird string. You would have put it in the mud with a hook on it. And then if you feel it tingling, boom, you got yourself a crab. So that was my favorite activity. That's the only reason I went to church with my dad. Dad, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Uh, you find out 20 years later, that's your problem. We have wings here. And I can tell you my dad's gonna call me late. Look, don't ever give black people wings and tell them to judge it if it's not good. Okay, that's what we do. Mm. Okay. Okay. I told him I was gonna tell him the truth. It is awesome. This is awesome. Like, I will literally order the wings every day. It's, it's well seasoned. It's not over seasoned. It's well seasoned. It, got, it has a Asian flavor to it. Like, now, it has some kind of a seasoning. I don't think. Tell it, but look at that wing. That is well seasoned. I have to ask him what he put in there because this is good. And it's, um, I don't think it's breaded, it's not breaded, it's just a plain wing with some also seasoning on it. I like it, I like it. So this place, Crawfish King, saw it on Facebook. I asked for a recommendation. <clears throat> Where should I eat? As you know, I'm going to Puerto Rico, so I'm trying to, you know, try some places in town before I go to Puerto Rico. And I start asking people. I love, excuse me, the city of San Antonio because I've always knew this city was diverse. I didn't know it was this diverse. Like this is a Laos um, restaurant. It's owned by a guy from Laos. And I've always seen the Korean, the Thai, Philippine. First time at a Laos place. I'm loving it. It's pretty good food. But you know, put this aside. To be honest with you, I'm gonna eat this off camera because I don't need you guys to be in my business. You see how big this is that's some some tearing up now one thing i will tell you is this fish i told him i gotta have fish when i'm here it just it's just awesome so let's see when i saw him dropping the fish in i was like oh this is so awesome so awesome look at that well done crisp So here's the thing, when he pull out the fish, I'm like, what is that? He goes, this is a red tilapia. And I already sees me, I say, oh, this is gonna be good. I'll tell you what, whenever I um, barbecue, if I have the time, I will season the barbecue prior and leave it in the, uh, in the fridge to marinate. So when he pulled this out, you know, seasoned already, marinated, I was, I knew it was gonna be fire. This is fire. 
The fish is, is good. It's well seasoned. It's, it's, it's just well seasoned. Like the seasoning on this is is good. I can taste some kind of um, pepper in there. Not like spicy, don't think spicy, but it has some kind of flavor of pepper to it. It's not cayenne, but I don't know what pepper it is. We're gonna ask him, he's gonna tell me. Yeah, the fish is awesome. Fish is awesome. Like I will get fish and chicken every time I'm here, just because I'm a big fan of fried fish. But if your restaurant offers fried fish, I'm there. One of the way for me to know you're good at what you do or you're good in the kitchen is fish. Like a lot of people can fry fish. Don't, don't laugh. A lot of people can fry fish. Now the fish, I'm gonna have to finish that later. Everyone thinks like when you eat for living, you have to douse the whole food in front of them. That's what I did the first few videos. It was embarrassing. Get a load of this. Yeah, that is the curry soup. I love when they decorate food because sometimes I don't know if I want to like taste the decoration or stick it up. This is uh, pepper. We all know I'm not touching that. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth. I'm gonna do it. Let me get another taste. Let me get another taste, hold on. I can get it um, a proper definition. So the noodle, awesome, perfect. As much as I don't like spicy food, I wish this was spicy. It is good. I don't like spicy, but some food just need a little spicy to it. This is good. It is really good. Uh, it needs more chicken in there. Where's the chicken at? This is chicken noodle, chicken curry noodle. I need more chicken in here. But you always gotta remember when you go to a restaurant, even though they cook you the food, they didn't cook it for you. This is a small business started in the backyard and he's cooking the way he cooks for his family. So when you go to places, always show respect. You can um, tell them what you like or don't like, but I've always got to tell people, show respect when you go to uh, small businesses. If you go to Golden Corral, all the food is going to taste the same as Golden Corral. This is an individual. He has his own uh, flavor, his own culture. So maybe in his culture, this is how they make it. I like it. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't like it. I like it. I just want it to be spicy. As this is the first time you hear me say I want something spicy. It's, it's really good. It's really good. We're gonna get back to the awesome chicken, okay? Look at this, like seriously. Look at that. No bread. I love this thing. Mm. It's, it's good. Like I'm a fan of Wingstop. Not anymore. I haven't... Honestly, honest, I haven't been anywhere in San Antonio where their wings is like, has its own identity. This has an identity, it has green seasoning. I will post the seasoning on, on the label when I'm done, but this was, was what, well worth the drive, is worth the drive. And when you're here, you get to see right here, highway. Usually you will sit here, but the sun is hitting my eyes. So just to get the view of that is awesome. But this is a great place, a great place. And the chicken is good. Like the chicken is awesome. It's awesome. Will I eat here again? Hell yeah. 
hell yeah i will come back here again i um i just love small businesses who are try to be different have an identity mm. let me tell you why i'm in love with this okay so i love me as you know and i'm not a big fan of big jerky like um I went to HEB a couple of days ago. Was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. I like right before Vegas, and I got me some beef jerky because I just wanted some snack to eat before um, before dinner or you know in between lunch. So I'm not like you know eating big food because you know we try to lose weight. So I was like, you know what? How about I get beef jerky and I chew on it here and there, you know, replace the snack because I don't want no nuts and all that crap. And I didn't. Well, kind of find out I didn't like those jerky because it didn't. It just tasted weird, but this is awesome. Yeah, I love it. It's good. I made a small mistake. I don't like to offend people, especially people who cook for me, because I'm 100% sure he's gonna ask me, what do you think of my sauce? And I cannot afford to lie to him and say the sauce was good. I just can't. So this is what we're gonna do. I made a mistake. There's a, you say this is the fish sauce. I'm gonna remove this so you can get that. I'm gonna have a spoon here. Oh, we do. Okay, let's not mix the flavor. Because I'm being a messy eater right now. Put that here. This is dope. This is dope. Whoa. Get it. Get that. Get that. It's dope. It has a, um orange taste to it. Just a little bit of orangey taste to it. Little vinegars, and there's definitely some kind of pepper in there. It's not cayenne, but it, some kind of pepper in there. <laughs> that is too like this should be on the fish. Like, put this on the fish next time you bring the fish. Put this on the fish, don't put it on the side. Don't put this in this. This is I ate almost the whole fish just to find out there's some good stuff to it. Oh man, uh, um, there's an apartment behind me and the lady's watching me. She's probably thinking what this fat guy's doing. None of your business, lady. I'm gonna get fat, none of your business. Okay, this was awesome, okay? So if you're in San Antonio, come here, okay? Crawfish King, I, I, I was a little reserved about seafood because I don't trust people, anybody doing seafood. Cause just not every seafood place is great. And seafood is one of those things I don't play with because I gotten sick a lot in seafood. This, right there, right there. And he has fresh, fresh, fresh crawfish, fresh crabs. Deliveries coming in every two days. He wouldn't lie to me. I literally just saw it. You know, those things are walking. Yeah, I don't like to see my food before I ate it, but yeah, this was awesome. And I hope you, uh, you come and enjoy what I just did. And if you don't come here, well, you saw it through the lens. But until then, I just want to say, enjoy. All right, hi, we're at Crawfish, uh, no, Crawfish King. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm trying not to be disrespectful. So, Jack here invited me to try his food. Uh, the other day he told me on Facebook, he's like, hey, you have to come try our food. We have some good food. So first, he's here, I have to say the truth. I thought I'm like, oh, this guy just wanted me to come over there and you know video his place. His probably feels not good. I can't say that. Don't, <laughs> don't be mad at me. So I look on first thing I did, I went to Google and I click on his pictures and I'm like, oh yes, fried fish. I gotta try some fried fish. So introduce yourself, Jess, uh, Jet. Yeah, I'm I'm Jet Chavadar. I'm the owner here. So so he's the owner. He uh, run the place with your son, who's a cook. Your daughter, she's 15 and she helps with the front. 
his wife, I never got the name, that's so rude. <laughs> but she's also a cook and he has some family members uh, that run the place. Uh, when did you open? Um, at this location, August 6th. August 6th. But there were a food truck. He was a food truck uh, at another location, which is about 10 minutes or so from here. And he decided to get this place. So this place opened August of 2020. As you guys know, we're in COVID. That's like the worst time to open a business because I opened my store in Wisconsin during COVID and not even, you know, it was not that great, but you work in there. What give you the, I don't want to say the power, but the confidence to say, you know what, we're going through this, I can do it. We'll, we'll give you that. Well, pretty much just the, everyone, the family, friends. So they, they trust need, your food? Yeah, they, they keep saying, you know, y'all need to do it, y'all need to do something. And plus, I, I was already working at the time, so I, I wasn't, it was supposed to be a part-time thing for the weekends. I was, that's why I got the food trailer. So I wouldn't be tied to a spot where I had to pay so much on rent or anything like that. And I could do it everything on my time. I could, if I wanted to go out and cook this weekend, I could take the truck out and cook this weekend. Next weekend, I didn't want to, I didn't have to, because my main income was my, my regular job. Oh, okay. yeah. Is it is it fun or frustrating work with family members? Oh, it's both. It's both? Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. honest, he's honest. <laughs> well, because I just, I don't, well, my kids are like three and one, yeah. and I don't think I can be in there, so dealing with them so this is awesome to see how you guys are working today okay, that's his wife she just came out um how did you start with cooking how like did you how did you learn how to make all this i mean you or did say a lot of the stuff for family recipes yeah a lot, a lot of it's from from family my dad's always cooking my wife's mom's always cooking our whole family cooks and we all get together we always mix up things and and then when, when you get to a certain point where you want something and they don't have it here, we used to always have to drive different cities to get good food. You know, San Antonio is not made, not really known for a lot of good food. I, <laughs> I told you guys, see, I said earlier when I was eating, uh, I said, you know, San Antonio is not known, it's known for Mexican food. And yeah, even then, yeah. like for someone like me who, uh, I went to Mexico a few times, I never liked the San Antonio Mexican food because it's never like, up to par with uh, you know that so to to see a Laos place here we have a lot of Thai places around we have yeah. a lot of Chinese places around so uh, to see a Laos place is is, is very awesome and you're right sometimes you have to drive to Houston to get the food you want it, it's sad but Houston is is it has a culture I mean we have culture in San Antonio but eh, it's in Houston so what would you want to tell people who wants to come here and try your food what would you recommend for them to get and what should they know about you besides this. I mean, we, we have a lot of options, and we have to even downsize our menu because of uh, cause the help in the kitchen is just not there. We I do my own on my little station. My wife does hers, and my son does one thing. So, but our, our main things are like um, our boils, of course, and and sometimes our fried fish, our whole fried fish. And a lot of people love our fried rice, our crispy rice, fluffy donuts. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. The oysters are real fresh right now, so. I saw that you have live, well, yeah, live, we're live crawfish, crawfish, crawfish and crawfish. live lobsters and everything. And how often do they deliver that? We we get them every two days. Mm. Yeah, we, we, we don't bring a lot so that it doesn't sit. We'll bring a couple hundred pounds and once it gets low, we'll bring in more. And usually we run out before our next shipment, but mm. yeah, we get it back in because we, we have a lot of different vendors that, that we deal with and we try to stay, uh, loyal to uh, to them as they were to us you know, so. is there any other uh laos restaurant here you're the grandfather right we're gonna say we're the grandfather because yeah, you're the first there's yeah, nobody I else i don't know any other Lao restaurants you should have uh, take that that's your yeah. thing you're the original <laughs> so yeah this is jack and uh thank you for inviting me here the food is awesome yes uh at this and more spicy on the noodle the noodle is awesome and i did make a mistake you know the you know the noodle has i got the small portion so Hey, thank you for inviting me, and uh, I hope everything yes, go well. Yeah. Um, Appreciate you. Can you tell everybody where are you located? Um, we're here in Live Oak, 8142 Shen Oak Drive, uh, Live Oak, Texas, 78233, Suite 116. So, as for the crawfish king, I don't think he's a crawfish king because his, <laughs> his son is cooking, and I think that's the real yeah, king I, in the back. So It's just the name. He's just the face. <laughs> we have to find out who's the king, but hey, I'm happy to be here. It was a great place uh, just to check out the food 
and uh, you should come check it out yourself too.